I will never get used to the metric system. You know how many times I've heard that? Unfortunately, it is an invalid argument based on an incorrect observation. You, in fact, use metric system on a daily basis and more often than not, many times in a day. In this video, I'll show you how the metric system works. At the core of it, the metric system has the concept of using the number 10 to upscale and downscale from, uh, from larger units to smaller units of measurement. Now, where do you use that metric system on a daily basis? Here. When it comes to money. I got here some Canadian bills and coins. The money is based on a metric system. Now you might be thinking, how is the money metric? Where is the metricness in the monetary system? And let me show you where it is. Here is a loony, and uh, this is a one dollar coin. The one dollar coin is the unit, the basic unit of measurement. So let me just write that one in here. That is a unit of one, and this is our unit of measurement one. It's a dollar. Now, like I said, at the core of the metric system is the idea that uh, arithmetic multiplying and dividing by 10 can be easily done in head. And uh, you can upscale and downscale the basic unit easily from here. So, let's downscale it for a starter. Uh, let's see, you can see that uh, these are dimes here. Maybe if I put my hand here for a little bit of shadow, you can see there's a sailboat on it. These are dimes. They are worth exactly one tenth of a dollar. The basic unit of measuring is dollar in this sense. And uh, one tenth of it is called a dime. Here the basic unit, the one, has been divided by 10, downscaled by 10, and we got a dime, a new smaller unit of measurement from the base unit. This one here is the base unit. And uh, we downscaled it, and now the uh, new derivative unit is called a dime. And uh, we know that it's been down, down scaled by a factor of 10 because uh, 1 uh, divided by 10 is the same as 1 over 10 because we know that 10 dimes will make a dollar. Now let's uh, extend the idea and uh, here is 1 tenth of a dollar and we further divide that one by 10, we get one hundredth of a dollar. Here is one hundredth of a dollar, a penny. There. A penny is exactly one hundredth of a dollar. I know you also call it cent, but a cent by definition is one hundredth of a dollar. Now to upscale it, by a factor of 10. Here is your $10 bill. It doesn't have a special name. You can call it maybe a 10 spot, but uh, it is upscaled and it's a $10 bill by a factor of 10. And if you upscale that, when you have 10 of these, here is your next unit, a $100 bill. So uh, the $100 bill also doesn't have a special name. Maybe you can call it a C note there, a C note, but uh, C is a Roman numeral also meaning 100. So uh, this is how it goes. Every time you make change and think in terms of 
money, you are using a metric system, you are using a system that's based on the multiples of 10. Now, let's put this money aside and uh, just for comparison here on this side of the paper, uh, the basic unit of measurement for length in the metric system is the meter. When we downscale it by a factor of 10 and divide it by 10, we'll get one tenth of a meter. That is called in the metric system a decimeter. It isn't one that's used very often, but nevertheless it is there. If we further divide this one and downscale it by another factor of 10, we will get a centimeter in the metric system. And just as, just as 10 pennies will make a dime, 10 centimeters make a decimeter. Now in the metric system we can downscale this one further by another factor of 10 and we'll get millimeters. There, millimeters. And uh, here on a ruler you can see how 10 of these millimeters here, that's 10 of them, 10 of these millimeters make a centimeter. Or maybe zoom in a little bit and a little more thereabouts. 10 of these millimeters here make a centimeter and uh, 10 of these 10, 10 centimeters here make up a decimeter and 10 decimeters will make up a meter. Now we can upscale the base unit of uh, measuring length in the metric system by a factor of 10 and uh, we will get something that is called a deca meter. It is not used very often with uh, length, however it uh, still exists and uh, it is there. Uh, it is used uh, with uh, measuring weight more often. There is a decagram, okay? So because in uh, measuring weight the uh, base unit is gram, so there is decagrams and decameters doesn't, don't happen very often. By upscaling it another tenfold we'll get something that's called a hectogram, uh, sorry a hectometer, but again this particular one isn't used with the units of length however it is used with the units of weight there is such thing as a hectogram and uh, if we upscale it again by another factor of 10 we'll get to a kilogram uh, kilo kilometer or a kilogram this one is used in both length and weight measurements a kilometer so, basically, that's the idea how the metric system works. And in the metric, you also notice that we have these uh, particular prefixes like kilo, hecto, deca, meaning 10 times, 100, meaning 10 times, this is a 100 times, and this means a thousand times and we have deci meaning a tenth centi meaning a hundredth and milli meaning a thousandth and because multiplication and arithmetic can be done easily in the head with the multiples of 10 that's why metric system is super easy to use